Hi, my name is Darlene Newell. I'm the director at Tony and Guy in Erie, Pennsylvania. And today we are going to be talking about back to school braids. They are very hot right now and our model is Caitlin and our stylist and student, she's on the clinic floor, um, her name is Maria. So Maria, can you tell me a little bit about what we're doing here or what you did for uh, back to school? Absolutely. Um, I'm Caitlin today. I did a double fishtail braid. And with this braid, it, it may look difficult, but it's actually very easy to accomplish. You first take a section of hair in the middle, a small section, and you do a regular fishtail braid. You do that the whole way down the hair strand until you reach the bottom and you can rubber band it. And how do you start the fishtail braid? Is it one or two or three strands? Um, the fishtail braid is a two strand braid where you take one side and overlap it to the other and then you take a piece from the other side and overlap it to the other side and you just continue in that way the whole way down. And then once you've completed the first braid, you leave that out and you start on the outside section of the hair and you take it and you go cross over the fishtail braid that you've already created. So you cross over and then you cross over and you do that down a few inches down the hair. Then what I did was I took the inside braid and I flipped it on top of her head and I braided under the first fishtail braid. So it's the same technique under and over um, until you're a few inches down and then I put it back over the top and I just repeated that over and over again to get this look. Um, after I was done I hold the braid apart to give it the popular messy look that everybody's trying to go for these days. Um, and that's about it. With Caitlin's purple in her hair, it really makes this look pop. So um, one thing that Maria did say about the hair, the braids being very relaxed, it is very popular to have it more messy and um, relaxed now so that it's not quite so tight. The pop in her hair, because her hair is quite dark, the pop of color in her hair really accents the braid very well and is also very popular in today's um, classic styles. So great job that you did. Thank you. You're welcome. So thanks for joining us for today and hope that um, you could be able to use and be able to do this braid. And thanks Caitlin and Maria for our stylist who created this look on Caitlin. And stay tuned for more videos to come.